Hey guys, good evening. Hello. <clears throat> now we're joined by Inter Miami midfielder Victor Ayua. We'll begin with questions now. We'll start with Michelle. Go ahead, Michelle. Congratulations. I hope it's not Phil's just saying, you know, not uh, the most stylish game or the most beautiful, but you guys advanced, you know, second year in a row to the Elite 16, um, and it's four games in a row, you know, winning, advancing, all that. Um, can you just talk about where the team is right now and how, how did, you know, did the team feel after this particular game? Yeah, I think uh, we shared the same feeling with the coach. Uh, not the prettiest of wins that we wanted, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's the cup, and the first rounds are always like this. You got to grind it out. You got to push, and you just got to get the win no matter what. And we did tonight, so uh, proud to move on to the next round, uh, like we did last year. And like you mentioned, the momentum going forward to the game on Saturday is huge. Uh, positive results help. Winning is is always great. It fixes every problem we have. So we're gonna take that momentum and, and hopefully get a good result uh, Saturday. <laughs> 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 Next question, Franco. Um, Victor, uh, you played in that midfield today, um, and obviously Gene going down, Gene Mota going down with the injury changes things for you guys. Um, you guys lose a little bit of soccer in, in that element. What does Phil ask from you guys? It's not just you, but the central midfielders that have played and then helped fill in for, for Gene in terms of tac tactically, how do you make up for the soccer that you've lost? He obviously has, you know, he shoots from distance. He has a, a range of passes, short passes, long passes. Um, he's, he's the link between the defense and the attack, and I think you guys have kind of missed a little bit of that. So what's Phil been asking of, the, of you guys that he's played? tactically to try to help make up for that loss of soccer. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, you, you can't replace a guy like that, uh, Mota and, and Gregor, and uh, we missed him. Uh, you can tell that they're the heart of the team, and like you just mentioned, all the qualities that, that Gene has. Uh, Phil doesn't ask us to replicate those. He asks us to go out there and compete every day and to get each other better. Uh, he asked me, David, uh, Dixon, Benja, uh, to just compete and to try and make the, the best out of the situation. Uh, he believes in us. He's the guys that we have right now, and we have to move forward and do what we can with the players that we have. Uh, we try to be in the midfield, win, win the ball back as much as we can and be as aggressive as we can. And then with the ball, try to play. And, and like you said, try to link and try to play forward. Uh, Phil really backs us up saying, if we have any doubt, we play forward. That's the message from him. And with that backing, uh, he gives us all the confidence to do that in the game. We can go to our next question, Jose, on the call. Gracias, Rafa. Eh, hola, Víctor. Eh, quiero preguntarte eh, sobre estas, estas últimas semanas. ¿Qué tan difícil ha sido para ti, especialmente después de las lesiones de Mota y de Gregory, tener que esperar esta oportunidad de ser titular? Hemos visto a, a David, que fue titular aún después de eso. Eh, yo sé que tú eres un jugador de mucha experiencia, pero todos quieren jugar. Y a ti te ha tocado esperar quizás un poquito más. ¿Cómo has manejado este tiempo y qué tan difícil ha sido? Sí, no, yo creo que es la parte más difícil de, de un jugador, eh, no tanto lo físico, sino lo mental. Y esta ha sido una batalla mental que he tenido que superar. Eh, al fin del día, soy competidor y quiero jugar y eh, siempre estoy preparado y listo para aportar con, con lo que me toque, pero me enfoco en controlar las cosas que yo puedo controlar y ese es mi carácter, mis ganas, mi esfuerzo, mi competencia, todos los días en el entrenamiento. Y ya el, el, la, lex, la lección de los titulares es, está fuera de mi control. Así que si me enfoco en eso, la verdad que no, no me va a ayudar. Eh, entonces trato de enfocarme en, lo, en las cosas que yo puedo controlar. Y siempre estoy ahí metiendo en entrenamiento duro para que me tengan en cuenta de cada partido que pueda jugar. We're going to Nicholas and then Franco. Hey, Victor, congratulations on the win tonight. Uh, you know, Coach Neville came in earlier, was talking about, you know, earlier this season, we were going 0-6. And, and then you guys play Miami FC. And after the press conference, he was saying this was a turnaround for your team. And I'm sure there's a lot of conversations, especially since there's injuries, or there be illness, or the case may be. But you guys are now finding that ground of success again. So what are the conversations in the locker room to say, let's keep this going, let's keep that momentum going forward, especially for the next round? Yeah, to be honest, even down the stretch that we were not getting the results that we wanted, uh, internally, our group always believed in each other. And we've always been working hard. We have a great group of players, uh, very great people, persons outside of the, uh, of the field. And on the field, in the training ground, very competitive. We push each other every single day, and we try to get better. And uh, sometimes we weren't getting those that lucky bounce that we needed. But like you said, that Miami game was a turning point for us, scoring at the end of the 90th minute. And then in the 118th minute is, is a good sign for us. And finally, something went our way, and we got to uh, just adjust to that. We got to take that. And moving forward is a big game on Saturday. We're playing a quality team. 
Uh, we know the players that they have. We know the run that they're on. So we're at home. We have our fans. So we're looking forward to getting a victory in front of them. Michael? Not two, if that's okay. Um, one, I'm going to beat you to it before you do it in the game because I saw you at practice the other day taking free kicks and you scored uh, a pretty nice one um, there in training. You also scored a penalty kick, which I think took plenty of people by surprise. Have you been working more on your offensive game in, in these last times that we haven't seen you much on the field in on the practice uh, pitch? Have you been working more on the offensive game because we've been seeing little elements of it here and there so far? Yeah, uh, offensively and set pieces is something that I've focused on, especially since I haven't been playing. I've had more time to to work on individual play uh, after training uh, by myself, put the mannequins up and, and hit the ball. And the PKs, to be honest, since last year when we were practicing for the playoffs, um, I stepped up and I, uh, I hit the ball confident. I have a good hit. So I, I felt confident doing it. And in the game, uh, absolutely, I wanted to take it. Uh, I came in for that reason to hit a, a PK. And uh, if, if I can, if I can put that towards my game, that's going to help me even more to get in the conversation of, hey, maybe we can put victory in where we have a free kick or something. So yeah, absolutely do whatever it takes to to try and get on the field at all costs. Yeah. Um, the second question is obviously you, you've you been here from, from the start and you, you're seen as a really good locker room guy, a guy that you can link between Spanish speakers, the English speakers. Um, today, Joseph came off pretty upset. Now, as a guy that's in there that has a lot of experience, do you, do you speak to your teammate? Do you let him just cool off and then talk to him? How do you go about when you see a teammate um, that frustrated? Yeah, I think you just got to know the players. Dynamic of of players is different. Personalities are different. Uh, Joseph is a very competitive guy. Uh, maybe he doesn't always show that side of him, and people see that he gets frustrated, and he's mad, and people always judge that. But he's a competitor. He's fiercest. He wants the ball all the time. He wants to score every single time he has a chance to. And he gets mad when we don't give him chances. Uh, we didn't give him many chances in the first half of this game, and then they took him off early. So yeah, he's upset that he didn't get to finish the game, but. I think that's up to the coach to manage whether he's going to play Saturday or not, maybe taking care of him a little bit. But uh, no, we just let him uh, cool off for a bit. And I know that tomorrow we'll, be, we'll come in and he'll be ready to go and, and ready to prepare for Saturday. Cool. Thank you, Victor. And thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks, guys.